Hello, bees, bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a new knife from from M8 Knives. I wanted to say Migron, but it's pretty much the same company. Let me back out here a little bit. This is, um, I'm looking forward to this. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember what this knife looks like. <laughs> when I knew it was on its way, I knew it was gonna look like, but at the moment, oh my goodness, I already know that I love the scales. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I hope you're having a fan freaking, ta oh. Whoa, I hope you're having a fan fry freaking fracking tastic day. Oh, okay, I just I just got a little more excited than I was to begin with. Check this out. This is the M8 Kermu. Whoa, would you look at it? Just look at it. Now that is what I'm talking about. Oh, it's a fancy, Mr. Fancy Pants. And oh, let's, okay, let's get right in here and check out some of this texture, a little bit of texture vision for you. Oh my goodness. I love the diamond powdered. Oh yes, a little bit of titanium and then carbon fiber inlay. And let's see, that carbon fiber inlay is done very well. It's not sticking out, it's just part of it. And yes, I was, before I turned it over, I was a little nervous. I thought maybe it wouldn't be on this side, but check it out. They managed, it's kind of like a pool of carbon fiber underneath that low profile 3D milled titanium clip. There's a titanium backspacer. Um, it doesn't have a lanyard hole. Wow, this is gorgeous. I, I'm very much so looking forward to seeing what this blade looks like. Oh, are you ready? And by the way, this is M390 blade steel. You ready? Oh, oh my gosh, yes. Now that, that is gorgeous. That is a freaking gorgeous knife. Look at that blade. That is my kind of blade style right there. A little bit of a drop point, and is this? Yes, <laughs> oh yes, compound grind. This is a hollow ground blade. You have a little more strength up here, up front, for doing your piercing, and oh my gosh, I, I, I can't think. This is, this is going to be in my pocket. This is a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous knife. I know they have more than one version of this. I'm not familiar with this knife particularly, but I know there's more than just this version. This one here is 8.07 inches long from tip to tip. It has a 3.5 inch blade and when it's closed or your handle is 4.57 inches. This is absolutely gorgeous and let me, I, I mean, you know what? I can't help it. That's a word I have to use with this knife because it has all the things that I like. It has a very nice blade shape. It has a compound grind. It has a hollow ground blade. It has the diamond pattern. It has titanium. It has carbon fiber. This is the QSP Penguin button lock for size comparison. And here is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 for size comparison. Wow, what a gorgeous knife. And let's see. It is uh, absolutely locked up, no play left or right. This is a frame lock. It has a steel lock bar insert. The lock up on it is right where you want it. Oh, and it has good pass through, and the blade is centered, and there's one way to deploy it, and that's, let's see if we can push button it. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it comes out with a throw tie. Let me back out here just a little bit. Make sure we have enough room, and oh, wow. And what am I feeling up here? Look at this. Check out the jimping. It has, it's, the jimping is done very well. Even though it's not all the way over the top, when you have your finger on either side, it has enough aggression where it's grabbing my skin, so I'm not gonna get slide offs. Look at this. Oh, that is so good. And then it has that hydraulic -y style feel. Look at that, drop shutty and hydraulic -y. Oh, yes, this is an absolute, I don't even know how much this knife costs, but whatever it is, I bet you it's worth it because wow, here's, here's some acoustics for you. I could literally do that all day long. Here's a look at the pass-through. It has, it has ample room right here and you can see, look at this. That's buttery smooth. I'm not having to commit my thumb. I'm not having to jam my thumb in there. This is very comfortable. It's a gents knife and oh my goodness. Let's go from one end down to the other real quick. Like I like this, you have the vertical lines and then you have the horizontal lines on the flat going all the way up here into the Ricasso. 
you you have room for sharpening right there. You can see the plunge grind, plunge grind kind of ends somewhere right there in the middle. Not a ton of room, but I don't think you're going to have any problems with that. There's your M8 logo, M8 knives. And man, I just can't get over how good this feels. It's not aggressive. This diamond pattern is not aggressive. It feels good in the hand. And speaking of feeling good, let's check out the ergos. So holding it in the traditional sense, like I'm cutting something, that I'm, I'm putting force down in every direction, looking for any hot spots. And the only thing I can feel is just a little bit on the inside of this side right here, just a little bit. And I might be these edges for these cutaways, for these reliefs, that might be the only thing that I'm able to feel as if I'm really putting down forcing pressure. And this jimping is done excellent. It's aggressive jimping. It grabs my finger. My thumb's not going anywhere. So you're not going to have slip offs doing push cuts and then your pull cuts. Yeah. So let's see. Well, that is the only thing I'm feeling are the cutoffs right here are a little bit sharp just on the edges if I'm trying to find a nitpick, but I'm only feeling those if I'm being very specific and trying to find it. Otherwise, holding this as a regular knife, if I'm gonna do any regular cutting, it is buttery smooth on the outside. If I'm not gripping or putting that, putting a lot of force down, like really pressing, I can't even feel that. But I would do want you to know that I, I look for those things when I'm checking out knives, especially one, especially premium knives. Well, what am I saying? I even do that when I'm looking at not so premium knives. When I'm looking at $20, $30 knives, it's all about the same thing. I'm able to pick out things and nitpicks pretty quickly, but I like this and can I use this? There is enough of that forward choil. I could get my finger in there and use it. I wouldn't want my finger up here if I'm doing any hard cutting, but your tip, typical everyday carry cutting task like that, yes, you can use it because you can see your heel is right here. So you're not gonna be getting your whole finger in there. If you did that, that would not be wise. But if you wanna just put your first digit up here, just to do some like regular opening up some package or just cut a piece of bread or something like that, that is usable enough for the first part of your index finger. It is always a joy to check out brand new M8 knives and my collection of M8 knives and also, oh, Migron, same thing, same company. Everything they do, everything they come out with, it just keeps be getting better and better. They are one of the best knife companies out there. They listen to the knife community and when we say, hey, how about this or can you make this change? You're like, sure, you got it because you are all the ones that are buying the knives. You're the ones that like them. You're the ones that like these particular features. You, you're the ones that like really good jimping or you're the ones that like plenty of pass through or you're the ones that like forward choils and I could go on and on, but this is a gorgeous knife. I would recommend if it's in your price range, whatever it is, get it because I don't see anything to nitpick about it. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss the live stream because we have a live stream every Friday night. Bees Blades live at the hive. Oh, right. And if you haven't been to live at the hive, it's almost four hours every Friday night. You will have a blast. Stop by you will enjoy yourself and you might you might even win this knife you never know what we're going to be giving away that's just a little added extra fun to the live stream so go watch this video you'll really enjoy that and i'll see you in the chats and the live streams and in the comments of this video and right after you hit the like button and remember live life in the present keep a band-aid handy and don't cut yourself